Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. This week I thought I would do something a little bit different, so instead of me going over to the workshop and finding stuff that I want to showcase, instead I'm going to be purely looking at the designs you have linked me in the comment section of one of my videos. So to kick things off, we're going to be looking at the Hyena X3, which is a small land vehicle that has quite a lot to offer from an interior with a little door that opens up it's got pistons to raise it off the ground it has a scope that you can deploy and raise up so you can look around it has a gatling gun on it and it's got thrusters to boost you along so taking a look around the outside let me just put my camera back to the very front we can go around and take a little look so at the front here, we can see uh, two uh, cockpits for you and a friend to go in. This vehicle is suited for two players. However, you can have a third person go inside the vehicle and then two in the cockpit. At the front there, we've got some blast door edges, two uh, rocket launchers there, which can only face forward. So watch out if you are on the hill because it's very easy to uh, damage yourself. We have got four spotlights to uh, blind your enemies or to uh, light up the darkness depending on what you want to do and of course you can see the uh, digital camouflage from the uh, latest pack so if you don't have the latest dlc pack then you're simply going to get plain blocks but it shouldn't matter moving across to the side we can see the uh, lovely wheels there to uh, boost us along we've got two pistons which you can see there's two on the opposite side which we can deploy raise ourselves off the ground so in case we get stuck or you need to do maintenance work underneath or reach that connector that you just sneakily see right there you can do we got some nice block work going on there with some sloped blocks we got some lights going around the outside we can just see the arm on the piston which raises up to deploy the camera Moving along to the back, we can see the two thrusters. So we've got atmospheric thrusters there to boost us along in case we need that extra burst of speed, in case we're trying to outrun one of those pesky wolves. We've got two lights there, which are brake lights, and a spare tire on the back. Taking a look on the top there, we can just see through a sneaky little back window into the interior where another player can go. I'll come to that in just a bit, but that's one way of keeping it auctionated in there and having a little sneaky view while sitting in it. There is the camera on the arm. As we come across the top, we have got a Gatling gun. Moving across to here, we're going to now just very quickly take a look at the cockpit. So there's the cockpits sitting there. We've got a camera right in the middle for a front view if you want to have a centralized view because it's always handy to have if your cockpits are off center. And yes, now to take a look underneath I have to hop out and come across to one of these buttons so we've got one button there to open up the door which I'll do in a minute then we have this self lift system which deploys the pistons lifting it up is a bit wobbly because I am on the hill but crouching down I can now come underneath it in fact I can stand up underneath this one this is how we can access the connector there in case you want to connect up to maybe a resupply vehicle or you just wanted to access it yourself coming over to here we have got a little display screen here that says toolbox so under here we've got some steel plates and a welder that comes with the actual blueprint itself when you paste it in there's going to be a lot of these little text boxes all around the ship telling you what's going on which is very handy if you have a certain way that you set up your ship or vehicle we can then move along here to see the ore detector being hidden right there. But now we can open up this door. So I'm just going to drop this down back onto its wheels. Nicely done. And I can press this, which is keep clear, raise and lower the ramp. Pressing it will deploy it all the way down. Then you will need to have a little jump. because You can't always walk up it properly, especially if you're on a sloped hill. But once you get onto it, we can now go inside on the interior we have a chair and like i said even more little display screens there telling you what's going on so let's first take a look at some of these programmable blocks this one over here is the artificial horizon script which is nice moving across to this one we of course got the floor plan script and last but not least we have got a empty programmable block for you to do or whatever with and now to look at some of these containers. We've got the driver cargo access, so to access one of the cockpits, 
we can then just access that one. And there is the other cockpit where you can just drag stuff in if you want to store some stuff on here. Turning around there, we've got our O2 H2 generator with some ice already inside it. A small cargo container with a hydrogen bottle in. Looking up, we can now access the uh, turret and put ammunition in there. And we've got a button over here to close up the door. And we can sit in here and, well, yeah, just sit in here and carry a passenger if you wanted to. So opening up the door, we can now go inside the main cockpit. So closing that up, I appear to have phased through the wheel there. To the left of the door, we've got a main cargo access, which if we look inside, we can see we've got some spare ammunition for the uh, turret on top. But now I have to activate my jetpack and come across to these cockpits. So the one on the right is the main cockpit and the one on the left is to control the turret. So pressing number one, we can now manually control the uh, Gatling turret. And then number three, four, five, and six is to take a Snoopy look around the area. So pressing number three, pressing number four, pressing number five, and entering number six, the camera will flip up and raise up so you can get a better view, perhaps over a wall or over a mountainside, should you wish to look that far. But we can reverse it back down, flip it back down, and then once it's done that, we can lock it in place, like so. So in the main cockpit, we have a lot more options. Of course, we've got six, seven, eight, and nine, which is identical to the other cockpit we were just in, but pressing number one, we can shoot the missile launcher. It's a rocket launcher, but I still call it a missile launcher. Yes, we can shoot it straight forwards. Number two is the thrusters at the back there, in case you need that extra boost moving forwards. Number three is to undo the parking brakes without pressing P, because if you don't know, pressing P will disconnect all connectors connected to your grid. So if you have a lot of things connected and you press P, there could be a rather big accident. Number four is to open up the door, which we just saw. So turning that around. There we go, that's opened up. Coming to tab number two, we have the camera to view straight forward. So this is a central view between both the cockpits. It even has a little LCD display screen there to tell you your balance, your speed and all that. And it has a digital clock. Jolly good stuff. And then stuff I don't need to touch, which is three and four, which is to raise and lower the wheels. And number six is to put the lights on. So coming out the camera there, we can now have the lights on the very side. There we go. So let's go for a drive around. In third person, of course. I'm just gonna drive around. It's a solid vehicle. It's got a lot of weight to it. Compared to some land vehicles, like the one I did in my last video on the land vehicle, it's less floaty and more grounded. Even if I try and do a high speed turn at 28 meters per second, it's keeping all four wheels on the ground. So if I put the thrusters on now, we can give ourselves a nicer speed boost and we can keep going faster and faster and faster but we still remain pretty solid on the ground even if i try and ramp this it's going to come back to the ground very quickly so let's go up here because this looks like a proper ramping area here we go uh oh uh oh mayday thrusters up in fact we can go to space let's go to space i'm sure this is fine Okay, so landing on my back, did the number on the turret, but we're still in pretty good shape. We can even use the camera still. But let's deploy that all the way up. There we go, now we're talking. And then we're going to launch the missiles yet again. I have lost the thrusters, unfortunately. Yes, I can just keep shooting the rockets there. It's a handy little vehicle to have, especially when you have the Gatling turret on top, and if you have a friend or a companion who can help drive this vehicle. Could be a good way to assault a pirate base. So yeah, it's a very solid vehicle. It handles really well. Stopping speed as well is, well, with all wheels, is really fast. And that is about it for this video. Let's go and first person there we can see on the left hand side the little grid of our ship or vehicle even I always get a confused ship and all that in fact 
Number nine, let's view it from the camera. <laughs> this is all fine. In fact, it's really good driving it like this. Maybe, I might have spoke too soon. Ooh, we're good. We can't look down, we can't turn the camera around. But it sure is interesting driving it this high. But the one last thing, of course, that I completely forgot about, that can just keep going forwards. How much does it cost in terms of blocks? Well, this Hyena X3 is a vanilla blueprint using the DLC decoration pack, and it weighs in at 748 small blocks, which is exceptionally lightweight considering some of the other blueprints on the workshop. But that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and as usual, it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and try it yourself. Whoa! Ow. Well, there goes that camera. Anyway, like I said, description below if you wish to download and try it yourself, and I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye bye.